Hi, welcome to another video manual of the many apps Calendly app. In this video, I will show you what it takes to install the app by using our template. So when you install the template, this is what you will get. You have seven different flows of which two are in the admin folder. And these are actually um, the most important ones, at least if you want to use the open authorization method in which you just authorize many apps to access your Calendly account so we can put your appointment slots inside your messenger gallery. So let's have a look at all these different flows. I will end with these two most important ones because those are actually the start of well your uh, Calendly integration. These five flows are the heart of your app. So this flow right here will actually display all the calendar slots in a gallery in which people can click a certain activity, for example a 15 minute call or a 30 minute call or uh, something else, whatever you have in your many or in your uh, Calendly account. And as you can see it's a really small flow but it does magic. In this action are all the settings for your Calendly account and I can show you how to add this in case you are not using the template which I strongly discourage but if you must you will find your Calendly app right there and if you click select action you will have all these options that you can choose from and all these actions are already implemented in the template so again I can't emphasize this enough use our template until you at least know how it works so I will delete this one that I just created and click this one that was already there so you can see what it does this is the field where you can enter the name you can enter full name or whatever you want maybe only the first name or last name the email and the phone number in another video I will explain how you can get this a one ID it's actually the um, question number that you will find in your Calendly appointment settings it has a blue number in front of the question in this case a one and that means answer one or at least I think the A is for answer and that corresponds to your in this case phone number field this is the text that's on the close button in the web view which you will see later as well when I demo the appointment setting in messenger book a date this is the text that will be on the gallery button which people will click to actually open the web view to make the appointment and this is the option to go to a web view or go to a native browser window this is the personal access token you only need this one if you are not using the open authorization method so you don't need both. Um, this is helpful if, for example, your Calendly account has multiple users. For example, a, a doctor's office where are more than one doctor and each one has its own agenda in the same chatbot. Then you can use this one and this will then correspond to Dr. John and another action can correspond to Dr. Jane or whatever. So this is the setting for 
getting appointments and it will enable people to book one. I will show you a demo. Then we can go to this next one, it's a utility flow which will clean up certain custom user fields when an appointment is cancelled or it has expired. For example, we have a trigger here as well, that you can see here, date time based trigger. Uh, when an appointment has been going on for like five minutes or ten minutes or whatever you want to um, set in the trigger, it will start this flow and your custom user fields will be cleaned up. Then we go on to the next flow, which is the confirmation of a successful booking. It's a simple thank you for booking flow in this case. And we use another app, which will also be automatically installed when you use the template. And it's also included in a many apps license key. And it will show the user just a confirmation message with a uh, thanks for booking the appointment and an option to manage their appointment. For example, cancel or reschedule, which you will also see in a demo video later. And a similar flow is for showing a cancelled booking. And that will look like this. A confirmation of the cancellation of your appointment with us. If you want to create another appointment, please click the button below. And then you will just send people back to the gallery with your appointments. And of course, you're open to changing this in any way you like and then finally there is this reminder flow which has a time-based trigger as well we set it to one hour but you can use more than one trigger or um, set this one to a smaller time slot and it will just notify your invitee in Messenger when their meeting with you starts. And I will show you where those triggers are here in roles. This is the clear links after date expiration. That's what I showed you just a second ago with the utility flow. And in our case, it will just do it 30 minutes after. We can actually change that to, for example, 15 minutes after, because why wait 30 minutes? And then there is this other rule for the reminder that the appointment will start. As you can see, it is set for one hour, but you can just add times or change this one hour time. So that's about the rules. Let's go back to the main folders. And now that I have explained these five flows, it's time to move on to the administration area where you can authorize many chat or many apps to access your Calendly account by using the open authorization. It's as simple as previewing this flow, click edit, just click preview and the flow will start. I will click it and it will run in my phone and I will show you a demo in a second of that as well.
then we can go back to the webhooks. This is also a, also a flow that's only um, supposed to be used by an administrator. So don't show this to your end users. And you just, similar to the authorization flow, just click preview. And then you can just create your webhook, check if there's already one there or remove a webhook if you no longer wish to use it. And this can also be managed inside the Messenger app. And I will show you how that works as well in a demo video. This is actually all there is to it to have this Calendly template and app working. And I see this video is about 10 minutes. And if you follow this video, it will maybe take five more minutes to set up your Calendly account. So in 15 minutes, you are ready to go and accept Calendly appointments and manage them and have your user manage them all inside ManyChat. Thanks for watching the video. And if you have any questions, please let me know.